Hi everyone. This is just a short video on the fume cabinet that I developed for my RepRap Prusa Mendel 3D printer. I built this to provide extraction for the fumes given off by the molten plastic that is used by the printer, and to stabilize the print area temperature, as printing with the window wide open during winter was causing not only myself to freeze, but also for the prints to warp on the bed. The cabinet is made from 12mm MDF sheets, which is screwed together and then caulked with a structural adhesive. A hinged access panel of polycarbonate on the front allows access to the printer as well as the prints, and I've lined the window and the base of the cabinet with adhesive foam. The spool is mounted on the side of the printer, the filament being drawn up through this flexible tube and then down into the print head. The printer spool is mounted on 608 bearings to allow for rotation, and I designed and printed it up here. The ATX power supply is mounted externally to the cabinet. This powers the printer as well as the cabinet's 120mm, 138cfm fan and LED strip lighting. I incorporated an e-stop into the stepper motor power line to allow me to halt the printer's axis movement in an emergency. The fume extraction is from this extraction fan up here and exhausts out through a 100mm air conditioning duct which goes up to a window insert that I made up. The 100mm air conditioning duct flange there and the 128mm fan exit to 100mm air conditioning duct adapter there were also printed up on the printer and are the largest single prints that I've made. Materials wise, this cost me about $120 counting the hardware, fan, cables, heatsink, LEDs, air conditioning ducting, and adhesive phone strips. I rate this as a good investment, as it has allowed me to stay in my office all day, as, whilst the printer is running, and not be overcome by the fumes. So far I've only printed in PLA, and after a full day of printing in PLA, I do tend to get a sore throat. Um, I've read on the RepRap forums that people who have spent all day printing in an enclosed space with ABS end up with sore throats as well as migraines. So that's not something I want to, uh, I'm looking forward to here. So I hope you enjoyed the short video, and I hope that it encourages you to make a printer, a uh, fume cabinet for yourself. Cheers.